D divorce is difficult in any circumstance. Um, but if you could talk us through the, the sort of moment when you knew that something was wrong. It was through finding a series of texts, is that right? Yeah. Um, I was living with Richard at first in Doha, and we'd been there for about three years. And I was coming backwards and forwards to the UK because one of the family members wasn't very well. Um, and just one night we were sitting outside and I saw a, a, a text come through and it was quite late at night, around about 11.15 or so. And I thought, hmm, that's... I said, well, who, who was that? And Richard just said, oh, it was uh, Twitter. And I still write. And there was just something about it. It was mm -hmm. that gut feeling. You could, tell, can't you? You could yeah. just tell that was that now. Nah. So I said, well, look, would you mind if you just showed me that? Mm. Because it was out of the ordinary. And I think that's the key thing. It was out of ordinary. So he picked up his phone and deleted whatever message was on there and then showed me a Twitter message. And I just thought, nah, something's, you know, something's happening here. So that happening sense of here. an alarm bell's ringing, but it was, it was a, a later time to that where you actually answered the phone and, and replied as him yes. to a series yeah. of messages that came through. Yeah, there were certain things that happened over a couple of months. Yeah. And then Richard and I went on holiday. We took our daughter with us. And it was in Cornwall. And they both fell asleep. And Richard left his phone. And uh, a message came through. And it was from his girlfriend and she said are you okay and uh, I suppose being the therapist that I am I thought mm, okay I'll answer this as if it was Richard and so I did and that's how I got the categoric proof and what did you say as Richard what, um, I said <laughs> I said no I'm not okay and she said oh, I didn't think you were you sounded so sad I wish I could give you a cuddle and I went, yes, I wish you could too. And it just went on like that. I mean, and you, you sent the picture up, of yourself. Didn't you? um, yeah. And yeah. you were living apart for, for a while. And yes. then uh, Richard became ill. Yes. And it was you he called. Yes. Well, Did that make you feel like, oh, he needs me, so I'm going to be there for him and, and kind of put the differences in the relationship aside? Um, well,. You know, my profession was a nurse. I've been in a caring profession for the past 18 years as a therapist. And I've been with Richard for 36 years. So you don't lose the feelings for somebody overnight. And I knew he was very unwell. And he asked me to go to, with the consultant, to, you know, to see this consultant with him, and I did. And they, were, they weren't sure that they wanted to operate. But I just knew you had to have it done. And when, he, he, when they did eventually open him up, they said he only had a month left to live. Wow. And, and then, you know... I suppose I was... there's one thing about supporting somebody that you've known for all these years... Yes. ..and thinking that the relationship is then going to start again. Because if you believe that he has cheated on you... And I'm, yeah. I'm not sure he admits it, does he? Um, I think he, he... Yes. Has he admitted it to you? Yes, he has. Has he admitted it publicly or just... Um, he never you know? makes any comment publicly. But our, our divorce is based on that, yeah. Right. 